Hare Krishna. America is an amazing country. I find it interesting how the politics and the law works in this country. A police officer was killed recently in Queens. And all the guys shot him and stuff. And the whole world is looking for sympathy for the police department. And I'm just wondering when there's going to be some sympathy for the people who are innocently killed. Unarmed civilians, citizens, black men, black women. Week after week, this is normal in America. This is policy, it seems. Go ahead, kill the black people, get away with it. But when a police officer dies, then everybody wants to get emotional. As if the police officer's life is worth more than anybody else's life. So here's a solution. If you want to get these gun-toting so-called thugs and criminals off the street, then you're gonna have to shut down the thugs and the criminals who make the guns. Like they always say, there's no gun factories in Brooklyn, South Side Jamaica, Queens, where are all of these guns coming from? They're coming from lobbyists, people who are connected to the NRA, these country clubs, these pro-Nazi Aryan groups, of which the police fraternities are often members of these pro-Nazi Aryan groups. So these guys go to the same country clubs, the police sit down with the gun makers, the gun makers proliferate all of these guns in the hood, and then us in the hood use the guns against each other and against the police. Now we're the criminals and the demons. So American, if you go back a few hundred years in America, there was an American Revolution. There was, there was also a civil war. No one called these people thugs, but these people were fighting for their right. They were rioting against the British, the Boston Tea Party. No one called them thugs. No one called them hoodlums because they had the complexion for the protection. So apparently the law in this country works different depending on what your complexion is. So the solution, one solution is, instead of going to the middleman who's the so-called thug and criminal on the street, cut out the middleman. Go straight to these people that's making the guns and if you're such a big tough police officer or police organization or government, whatever, shut them down. Because when nobody's making guns, nobody can get killed by guns. It's not the people in the hood that's making the guns. It's not, it's the police friends are making the guns. NRA and all of them dudes are police supporting organizations. They making the guns. That's killing the police officers. So let's, let's keep it real, okay? Let's point the finger, let's call a spade a spade. If you want to shut down the violence in this country, look at this nasty country, man. When Christopher Columbus came here, you could drink out of every lake, every river, every stream. 50 years after Columbus and his people came here, you couldn't drink out of no lakes, no rivers, and no streams. Yet, they would say the Native Americans the problem, or the African slave is the problem. No, we can clearly see who's the problem is, who's causing all of the problems on this planet Earth. But everywhere they go, they want to make it seem like the indigenous or the so-called aboriginal people are the problem. When they were just sitting there minding their business. I've never seen a tribe of Africans go to Europe and oppress people and kill a bunch of people. It just didn't work like that. When the Moors went to Europe, they actually built bridges. They bought math there. They bought soap. They bought spices. They bought so much information that they built up Euros European civilization and brought them out of the Dark Ages. It's a historical fact. This has nothing to do with nobody's religion or belief system. I could care less. There's so many unpalatable truths to be said that if I said everything, I might as well jump off of a bridge because you can't tell the truth in this country and not make some enemies. Look at this dirty country. What kind of president do we have? What kind of administrative system that do we have? We live in a country where people are coming down on single mothers who are getting welfare and food stamps, but yet and still, you got all of these companies polluting the environment. Who's cutting off the hands of the sea? Let me tell you something. You wanna stop pollution? You wanna stop the degradation of our environment? Gather up a bunch of these CEOs in one room and cut all of their hands off. And all of these companies will stop dumping oil in our waterways. They'll stop littering. You know, grab these people off the street. When you see them littering, grab them off the street, cut their hands off. You do it to three or four people, people won't litter no more. America will be so nice and clean, you could drink in every river, every lake, every stream. That's right. This thing may sound radical or whatever, and I really don't care because we're living in radical times. And if you're soft, you lost. And I ain't with that soft stuff. 
I, I'm just not with that punk stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? America is very wicked to people. People who have did not even ask to come here. If you don't like these people so much, get them a check, get them a boat, and leave them alone. They'll leave your country, but no. You already suck the lifeblood and humanity out of a people through your slavery system. And then you continue castrating those same people with Jim Crow laws, with segregation, depending on your zip code, you can't go to certain schools. America is not a nice country. I don't care what civilized facade they put on for other countries of the world. This is the most demonic, barbaric, civiliz so-called civilization that has ever existed on the face of the planet Earth the worst this is the most degraded even the romans and the greeks were better than the american empire and the american empire is an extension of the british empire so now everybody's making a big deal about a royal birth all i see is a royal enemy because i've never seen nothing good come out of the house of the british for indigenous or so-called aboriginal people whenever another royal person is born that six billion dollars by the time that child is about 10 years old, that child will gener generate about $6 billion in cell phone sales, whatever. So much peripheral money goes into the birth of these royal children. But when a royal person makes money, that means an indigenous person has to suffer. It's never, it's, that's always the cause and, and effect on this planet. The royals have never done anything to improve anybody's situation. Don't tell me you took people out of the jungle and gave them a better life. You took people, first of all, Africa's not jungle. Africa's mostly Sahara, right? Let's get this stuff straight. The jungles are in South America and in Asia. You took these people out of the Sahara to build your civilization. And what did they get in return? Diabetes, cancer, AIDS, homosexuality, and indoctrination by a white supremacist system. So once again, if you want peace on this planet Earth, you stay in Europe unless you can learn to get along with other people on this planet. That's just my humble suggestion. If you want to learn, you want to cooperate with the rest of humanity like a brother is supposed to do, then you're welcome. But if you want to be barbaric, then we need a strong king or leader who will cut off the hands of the CEOs. There will be no more pollution. You deal with the genitals of the rapists, there will be no more rapists. You see, these laws are too kind. And yet the people who are not doing nothing to nobody, innocent people walking down the street, are getting shot by police. This country's backwards, and it's about to really face this judgment. And it's not gonna be an army of black people that's gonna come and destroy everything that the white man built. It's not about that. But karma is real. There will be more floods. There will be more fires. There will be more earthquakes, tsunamis, landslides. As a matter of fact, all of the American, the countries that have the vested interest in American politics, Usually those are the ones that get hit by the earthquakes and the people that are propping up the United States government are usually the ones that's getting punished by the forces of nature. But America's going to get it the worst. America's going to get it the biggest and the worst. This country is very demonic. They used to cut off the genitals of black people just for being black and hang them as trophies. They would tie horses to each of our legs and our arms and make shoot the gun off in the air and the horse would just run and leave a torso. This is how America treats the black people that built this country. And then they want everybody to feel sorry for them when a cop dies. I'm sorry, I don't feel the same sentiments and I'm just keeping it real. I'm not saying that what happened was good. I'm just saying I don't sympathize. Not as long as innocent people are being killed in this country. So cut off the hands of the polluters, cut off the genitals of the rapists, but don't use our babies as alligator gate, alli alligator bait. They used to take the babies newborn babies from black women and the alligator hunters would use these newborn babies to attract alligators this is how america is supposed to be a civilized country man you deserve whatever you get Haribo.